This is a golden hammer, and look how I turned this rusty old hammer into it. First, I had to strip away that thick layer of rust, which is basically a mix of iron hydroxides and iron oxide hydroxides. Most people would use acid solutions to dissolve rust quickly, but the downside is that it damages the steel structure, making it corrode again within just a few days. A better method is to use a caustic soda solution at a concentration below 10%. If the concentration is too high, with a pH around 14 or 15, the steel itself can become fragile. It's a slower process, but the thin layer of sodium hydroxide that remains on the surface helps delay rust formation, since corrosion is harder to develop in alkaline conditions. This cleaning becomes faster if the steel is galvanized, like this piece. After repeatedly dipping and rinsing the hammer, I decided to heat the solution to about 176 degrees Fahrenheit, 80 degrees Celsius. That allowed me to finish the pre-treatment of the steel with just three more washes. To further protect it against corrosion, I could polish and then paint, galvanize, or even coat it using a sacrificial metal. But instead, I decided to try something unusual for iron, anodizing. That's why I polished the hammer until it shined, so it would reflect light beautifully after the treatment. And honestly, just for this much work, I think I've earned a thumbs up already. The anodizing process for steel requires very specific conditions. A 50% caustic soda solution, a durable titanium electrode connected to the negative terminal, while the hammer is connected to the positive. The bath must also stay above 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 60 degrees Celsius. If the temperature drops below that point, the protective layer won't last. With constant stirring, I just turned on the power supply. In this case, I set it to 2 amps and 3 volts. This same procedure can also be done using a simple battery. These exact conditions are what give the steel that golden color. By tweaking the variables, you can get almost any shade, and the one that protects steel the most is black. The issue was, I didn't get an even color on my first attempt. I had to reposition the negative electrode and anodize the other side of the hammer. But here's what really matters. Through this process, the hammer gains a protective layer of magnetite, which keeps the iron from rusting again. It's a low-cost technique, and the author of the article I followed suggested using it for Damascus steel blades, posts, and tools like hammers. He also mentioned that because of the specific composition of most hammers, mine will eventually turn black and become even more corrosion-resistant over time. Did you like it? Then follow me.